So, hello everyone. Welcome to a new little thing I'm trying to do. This is a speed paint Saturday. I know it's extremely late. It could be counted as a speed paint Sunday, but I wanted to do it on Saturday because, uh, why not? Um, I really wanted to try and get this done a lot sooner, but we had a lot to do today. Um, mostly just moving a lot of heavy furniture, so I wasn't able to really get this done until now. Um, so today I was just doing a little speed paint of, uh, one of my characters. Her name is Marigold. She's a very, very good, uh, rat mom. Very depressed being though, so she's got that going for her. And I just wanted to take a little time and just either talk about the character herself or give just some tips and tricks and just go over the process I had in mind while I was drawing this and I'm honestly really proud of how it came out. It's really cute in my opinion and I hope you like it. So I really wanted to talk about Marigold for a second because Marigold is one of my favorite characters in the Rat in the Raincoat series. She died in the Rat in the Raincoat though at the very end of it so that I'm a bit sad about but I knew it had to be done because uh uh, uh, Six needed a reason- I could- I forgot her name for a solid second. Six needed a reason to get off the boat and Marigold telling her in, like, her dying wish to, uh, get off the mob. That way she could, uh, not be in the same boat as she is, quite literally. And, uh, she was one of my favorite characters to write about. Um, I will admit, though, uh, when I was first creating her, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with her. I just knew that she was just a depressed mom. That's all I really knew about her. <laughs> Marigold is the mate of a character named Rowan, who turns out to be a uh, bit of a jerk, if I'm not gonna lie. Um, he is a very flirtatious rat who... Uh, definitely has more than one girlfriend, um, but that's normal in rats because rats don't uh, just have a single mate. Like, a single rat can uh, have a bunch of babies with a bunch of different mates and stuff, so that's one of the real things I got with the Rat in the Raincoat characters, or at least with Marigold and Rowan. But uh, Marigold, Marigold had a very special bond with Rowan, so she never really believed everyone when uh, they said that Rowan was cheating on her all the time. But I, uh, uh, I believe she knew about it, about it being true, but she wouldn't uh, leave it because she always thought that maybe she was special to him. And yeah, she, she's, she's a good, she's a good, good rat. She's a good fluffy potato. Uh, but she is the uh, adopted mother of six, or Squeaks, in the Rat in the Raincoat. She is also the adopted mother, or foster mother, for Frost, who is uh, the... Well, I wouldn't really call him the big baddie, but he is, uh, he is a villain character. Uh, mostly because... Uh, I'm, sorry, I'm, so, I'm doing this off script, so I'm saying a lot, but I think everyone does that. Um, but Frost, Frost, uh, she didn't really give much attention to Frost, even though uh, I qu quite literally said in the book that Frost had the same attention as Six. I do believe uh, she did favor Six a bit more because Six came first, then she adopted Frost. She did have five other babies at the beginning of the book, but they were never named, and they were pretty much killed right off the bat. That's how the entire uh, thing started with Six. Uh, Milkweed coming in and was carrying Six and was like, Hey, yo, you just lost your babies. You want, you want a human child? But they didn't know she was a human child, so it was like, y You want this weird rat pup? And I love how rats, baby rats, are called pups. It's so adorable, in my opinion. I love it. And I've been using it ever since. <laughs> like, uh, for Signal, I've had Six call Metronome a monster pup. And, like, everything else, I, I, 
for some reason, I fell in love with the word as soon as I realized that baby rats were called pups. It's- I don't know. I just love it for some reason. It's so good. But, yeah. <laughs> um, moving back onto Marigold, though. Uh, Marigold, sad- I- I just- I remember I stated that she died and stuff. And so this speed paint is really just her laying down in the grass and i know there isn't any grass in the mob but i like to picture that this is where she is in her afterlife just in the meadow with some some pretty little lilacs around her right now i'm just trying to fix the tail because the tail the tail gave me so much problems but i try to look up a bunch of references of rats on their backs the i didn't get a lot because it's a very unnatural position for rats, but I thought this would be a cute little drawing to do. I did one on paper. The one on paper turned out so much better. Um, I'll show it right now. This drawing was a bit stiffer. It looked a bit more unnatural, but I tried to go in and I fixed it by using a airbrush with uh, just a tiny, tiny hint of yellow in it to add to the effect of that she is like the adopted rat mother to six because I thought it'd be like a cute little homage. Normally I just have her be just a plain black color, but I used the airbrush to try and give her just a tiny softer feel, like a little afterlife feel, like it's all a dream. And honestly, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm both not impressed with myself, but I'm also impressed by myself for thinking this because I... I haven't really seen a lot of people use airbrushes for their art for something like this, like their character in the afterlife or anything like that. It's mostly just bold colors with maybe translucent characters. I uh, so uh I'm pretty proud of it. I will say though, um if I could go back and fix this, it would definitely be the tail. The tail, I hate the tail, but the tail is just gonna have to do for now. Oh boy. Also, a quick thank you to everyone who is joining the control mini map for Metronome or uh, the Mono, Evil Mono. Uh, so many people have already, well, not so many people, like five people, but to me it's a lot, so I'm both happy. I'm really happy and um, happy and ecstatic and nervous, very nervous, because it's going to be my first map, but I'm, I'm happy people want to join it. Um, a huge thank you to them, and uh, it should be out sometime in July. Maybe that's that's um, the date I'm hoping for is July 13th. It was originally going to be July 11th, but the camp I'm going to had to change its dates. Well, we had to choose to a different camp group because the one we were originally going to was getting pretty full. So we did, me and my friends decided that we would go to a different group, so I'm both excited, excited about that, but also nervous because I'm introverted as heck. And yeah, but back to the speed paint. Right now I'm just really fiddling with different backgrounds. I had a really rough time with the backgrounds. I knew what I wanted, but I didn't know how to achieve it, you know? So... I normally like to look at inspiration for this. Once again, I uh, couldn't get any reference up whatsoever because uh, right now, right now, our Wi-Fi is bad, so I couldn't look anything up. And <laughs> uh, so you'll see me fill a lot with the background. I eventually found one that I liked, and so I actually went in and started to do like sprigs of grass. But I accidentally hit the invert button and it looked like flowers almost, like um, lavenders. I know I said lilacs earlier, I meant lavenders for some reason. And I thought it was pretty, so I kept it and it's just, I'm happy with it. It's really cute. Marigold, Marigold deserves so much better. Um, I'm not planning on rewriting. Uh, raincoat again, but if I ever did, like ever in the future did, I really want to do a small little thing for her, but eh, we'll see. Anyways, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if
if I should keep doing this. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Take care.